hey hey spring lefay simply tarot okay aquarius this is a reading for you i'm drawn to the 78 door deck so we're just going to go with it and see what we get for aquarius pondering on what are you allowing to hold you back what are you um something's keeping you in a spot and it feels like it's something within you um see you have such potential to be moving forward being seen for something um and i feel like that this being addressed is going to make a difference there's something within you that you're holding on to that you need to um see it for what it is do you see the eyes see it for what it is and once you do that it's like you release it and then it's like everything looks different everything has a different look to it tell me more about this thing within okay it's pain once you release the pain once you release what um, this could be a situation this could be a person but it's it's pain and it's within once you release that, you know, the Queen of Swords cuts away what no longer serves. So once you release that, oh my goodness, it's like things are on. It's like going forward, getting seen, um, moving quickly towards what you want. <laughs> towards that wish come true, that wish, that fulfillment, you know, things being balanced, things going forward, um, karma being paid for you know you've learned the lessons you've 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 learned what the blessings are um that's really awesome it really is okay show me um okay see it takes you to the empress level it takes you to and knowing what your worth is but it's not only that you know you can know your worth but when things are inside of you and they're kind of holding you back, they're kind of they're kind of keeping you in this spot. You may know your worth and your value, but what it is is you're holding on to something that is hurting you, that is um, oh, keeping you in one spot. This this is you doing this, and it's you know it's painful. Whatever this is, it hurts. It's painful. It's hard. You know, and. Um, Oh my goodness. See, uh, we can have, we can harbor things inside of us, situations, or people, or relationships. You know, it, it can be from the past, it can be from yesterday. Uh, it, it doesn't, you know, it could be either. Or, now here's the thing. You know, you need to look, okay, whoever I'm talking to, and I feel like it, it could be more than one. Um, for one, this reading is to let you know, hey, you know, you can do this. You can release this. You can let it go. Um, now, also, I'm going to tell you, sometimes you need to look. You need to <laughs> know that um, the angels and God have your back. Now, I'm going to tell you, uh, little situations, even from the past, you know, things you, you release, you let go of, you know your worth and your value, they can creep up. You know, I, I, I'm one I can tell you. I know. You know, and... Um, these little situations that can be inside of you and they, you know, it's kind of holding on, creeping in there, they're there, you know. Um, and you try to deal with things the best you can and you try to help other people and do this and that. You know, here's the thing. Look for signs. I'm telling you, look for signs because I'm going to tell you right now. You know how, um, where's it at? You know how I told you um, my son had come across this little stone here for me. Do you know what Malachite is about? It helps us to release stuff. 
it, it, you know, it can help us to um, let go of things. I'm actually going to look it up because I'm going to tell you, that was meant for me to, to get this. You know, he just, out of the blue, come across this stone. No, no intentions. And he said, Mama got you a stone, you know. I took it out of the, the wrapper. No name, no nothing. You know, let me look that up. But I'm going to tell you right now, things come on our path for a reason. You know, um, the angels, God, they're looking out for you, and you need to know that. Um, give me just a second. Okay, this stone right here. Malachi is the essence of joy and is known as the stone of transformation because it helps reveal and heal emotional pain by absorbing, absorbing the pain into itself. It is especially helpful in bringing ease during times of change and gives the insight needed for personal growth. And you see, I've got spirit tingles all over me. So I'm going to tell you right now, you look for your signs. You, you, you ask and you will receive. And, you know, they'll, they'll help you in some way or another, just like how this little stone came to me out of the blue. And whenever, you know, I first put it in my hand, you know, I, I was, I just opened it up and I was sitting there and, it just had this feel about it. And I told my son, I'm saying, what the heck's got such a feel to it? No one else messed with it, just me. You see what I'm saying? Look for the signs. And, you know, this malachite right here, if you don't have that and it can help you, I feel like the energy of this stone will be with you. Carry it with you. That's what I do. You know, um... You can feel the difference. So, what what it helped me with, I needed help with. And uh, that's why I'm sharing that with you, you know. So, yeah. Let's look at, uh, let's get a look for you. Going forward, you know, after you've done what you need to do here. I feel like that's pathways. I feel like new keys, you see the keys to new doorways will open up for you. But it all comes after you end what you need to end. You know, and, and I feel like it's within you putting away what's hurting you. See? Becoming at one with yourself and strong. You know, you got this. You got this. Show me more. That's when those doorways will come open. You you can't be blind to what you need to see. You can't be blind to what you need to let go of. You can't be blind to what needs to go. And that's the thing. You know, you can feel like you've dealt with it, but until you truly dealt with it, you know, I feel like everything's about to change for you once you deal with, yeah, it is, <laughs> deal with whatever this is that you need to deal with. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Wheel. The Wheel of Fortune. We have got paths opening up right here. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, you know. On the abundance side, things looking really good. Wheel of Fortune. Fortune on your side. Luck on your side. Ten of Cups. Can you get any better? There's your love if you're wanting true love to come in. For some of you, that's romantic. For some of you, that's a future marriage. It's different for different people. For some of you, it's just feeling the, the essence of love in general from whomever you need to feel it from. This is a beautiful reading because this is such growth. This is such a wonderful feel. Um... You know, I also found a little stone that I used to actually, I used to have it, um, I had it where I wore it on, on a necklace. I'll show it to you. 
uh, because it just come to me and it's been gone you know it's been tucked away in a spot and I, I actually forgot where it was at but it's meant to come out um, and I feel like it goes right along with after this one and right here it is this is actually a little uh, quartz crystal that I actually found myself and uh, used to wear it all the time And then I, I started carrying it, and then it got tucked away, and it had been gone for a while. So you need to look. You need to see. You need to ask the angels. I feel like um, it's taking me back to um, ask to know the lesson. Ask to learn that lesson and know the blessing. And... Um, them watch. Look. That's beautiful. So that's what I've got for you. Uh, you know, this here, like I said, for some of you, you're going to have abundance. You're going to have romance. For some of you, this is abundance and things looking better and doors opening up here and there and uh, love all around you. For those of you that don't want romance, it's it's yeah that's what i've got for you um thank you so much for being here with me thumbs up please do subscribe and um much light and love till next time bye